Hi guys, it's Bonnie Ballerina and today I have to film what's in my hospital bag and what's in my baby bag. I'll give you guys a glimpse of my bump. I'm 35 weeks pregnant and this is baby bump. So I wanted to go ahead and film before it gets too late. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the baby bag, and then I'll go into what's in my hospital bag. So I'm going to start off with the baby bag. Here's the baby bag. It was from Amazon. It was $30. This is an amazing diaper bag. So I can put it on my back. Um, it has the stroller straps, and it also is a baby bag that can turn to uh, a like a portable crib changing table type of thing and um, I'll probably get into detail about that in a different video but for now I just wanted to show what's inside um, my baby bag before my two year old wakes up so I don't have that much time so I'm going to start with the baby bag and what I'm bringing for baby and like I said I am 35 weeks. I just turned 35 weeks today and I will be having a C-section. Um, I have a scheduled C-section uh, March 25th, 2022. Wait, 2022. I'm sorry. And um, so that is four weeks from now. And um, so this is what I have prepared for baby. So I just wanted to show you what I have prepared for baby. Okay, so the first thing, of course, is just um, the car seat cozy cover, and it's just gray. And I'll be putting this over baby. And what I do have next is hats. I have hats and mittens. They do go with a lot of the outfits. I have this blue hat. Set stuff that come up there. I have this other hat. And another hat. Another hat. More hats. More hats. <laughs> um, and some mittens. And the reason why you see all these hats is because I do not like the hats that they give the boys in hot school. It's pink with a little blue in it. And I just don't like that. And I plan to take my son lots of pictures. This is my rainbow baby. And I just plan to, to take him so many pictures matching his outfits. These hats go with the outfits that I'm bringing to the hospital. That's why you see so many. So go to what's next. Okay, so what's next inside this bag? Um, let me just to the side for a second. This is the homemade knitted blanket. Oops. <laughs> A homemade little blanket that my mom made for my baby and as you can see I'm having a baby boy um, and she knitted this to go right with his outfit it is blue gray and white and it's very fuzzy so um, I will be announcing him but like, this is his like birth announcement pictures he'll be taking pictures on this And here's the clothes I'll be bringing. So now I'm going to show you the hats that goes with what. So I packed a sleeper and this is newborn. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the hat. 
that go with the food. Um, so here's the onesie. And here's the hat that matches. So I brought this for his sleeper. I have this swaddle that I ordered from uh, Amazon. And I just have like little fishies. Um, no, not fishes, sorry, dinosaurs. <laughs> it has dinosaurs all over them. So this is just a swaddle, and this is a zero to three month swaddle. And I think it's very cute. The little blue dinosaurs. And I have a sleep a sleeping set like a sleeper gown and it comes with the mini um, so you this one of the gowns and uh, as far as hats I was just going to go with um, sorry I have like um, this has like blue in it so I probably was going to go with this hat just like go with go with it when I take like the pictures but I really didn't have like a hat that I want in particular for this I'm not for sure if he's gonna wear this one with it but he has another sleeper with like these little cute little foxes and stuff like all over them and this is also a newborn i'm only bringing newborn items and here's the oops sorry here is the hat to go with that to match this so right here And I love this because he's my rainbow baby. I decided to get him this as well. It's another gown that he can sleep in. And you see it has the rainbow. Uh, let me come closer. Yep, there you go. See, it has like this little brown rainbow. This did not come in minutes. And I didn't like that it don't come in minutes. Um, it comes with this hat though. And the hat goes perfectly with it. And because it didn't come in mittens, I bought some mittens separate from Walmart right here and it's going to go very nice with it the color so that is another thing that I've run that I want him to take some nice cute pictures in and this right here will be uh, his going home outfit um, it's a onesie that snips all the way down snaps all the way down its long sleeves it has like little dinosaurs on them it also comes with the little mittens um, it's supposed to come with little mittens oh yeah it comes with the mittens um, already attached to it so he'll be wearing this um, and he'll be going home in this outfit this way it comes with these little cute little pants with the little foot at the bottom. So I'll show the pants right here. So this is his going home outfit. Um, so and um, I decided to just go with this like little wintry looking hat to put on him while he's in the car seat so I got this hat to go with it it's a homemade knitted hat and it's like a little winter hat to keep his head warm while we are in the car and on our way outside and it also goes perfect with the outfit so I run that and um, the last thing I run 
for him to like sleep in or whatever while I'm there is um, I think I showed this already actually yeah, I showed this already I just actually put it back in the same thing uh, but yeah you guys saw this already sorry so that is what I run for him and he does have um, one more outfit I brought him that he will this is his birth announcement outfit that he's going to be taking pictures with uh, on that blanket that I showed you guys the blue gray and white blanket that my mom knitted for him he's going to be wearing this outfit right here I'm going to take him some nice pictures and I'll be introducing the world to him my sister made it for me I had her customize it just the way I want it says my son's name on here Prince Romel and it is just super 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 cute I cannot wait to see him in this so bring it up closer so you guys can see and um, I just got uh, a little newborn gray hat uh, by the way that is also newborn size and then some gray socks and some gray mittens so that is his birth announcement outfit and I like cannot wait to see him in this I think he's going to be so 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 cute and I just want to make sure you guys can see because the lighting it's like sometimes it'd be so much light that you can't really see so I kind of went closer as you can see the detail So go ahead and move on to what I keep inside of my hospital bag and what's inside my hospital bag for a uh, this is a repeat c-section and it is a scheduled c-section um, this time I packed differently the first time that I packed for my uh, two-year-old son back then I thought I was having a vaginal delivery so it was different but this time I know I'm having a C-section and kind of know like what to pack this time around. Um, I am missing two items in here and that is my socks. I haven't put my socks in there yet because I still haven't uh, chosen the socks I want yet to go in here. But I'm missing about maybe about three pairs of socks. I'm assuming my stay will be um, three to four days. Um, hopefully just three days but I'm not for sure because I did get pre before and my blood pressure been a little bit high uh, just started being a little bit high so I might have pre again hoping not and that also cost me to stay an extra day which is four days so I prepared for four days and that's exactly what I did for the baby bag as well that's why I have um, a lot of outfits because the other time my son had so many uh, bowel movements and he actually um, poop through a lot of his things and I was actually running out of stuff before so I make sure I brought enough for baby this time and um, and this time for me I brought less you know you don't need that much so I can show you what I am bringing for my repeat c-section and this is just my luggage that I'm going to bring it's going to be so easy it has the wheels on it so it's easy to just roll and like I said, everything is all packed to go. 35 weeks now, and I'll be delivering at 39 weeks. If I don't have to deliver early, or he don't come on his own for some reason early. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys what's inside this, this bag, my baby bag. I said baby bag, oh my God. Pregnancy brain, sorry you guys. Um, I'm making a lot of errors because I have pregnancy brain. Um, <laughs> But yeah, inside my hospital bag. And like I said, I don't have my socks in there right now. And then I do not have my eyeshadow in there either. I'm going to have to get some more eyeshadow because for some reason my two-year-old son, he found it and he lost it somewhere. I cannot find it anywhere. Uh, so I'm had to find another travel size um, eyeshadow kit that I was planning on bringing. But that's the only thing that I don't have in here. And then like my insurance cards, I haven't put that in there yet either, but that will be also added. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with uh, 
on this right here. So this is my mom, like I said, before in the past, she always liked to knit. She's an excellent knitter. This is just something that she knitted me to keep me just a little bit warm. I can just throw over my um, myself while I'm in the hospital on top of those little sheets that they give you and it's just a blanket. And I'm just planning on throwing this on top of myself whenever I get cold or, you know, I might need it, I might not, but I brought it. But she knitted this for me. And uh, I ordered this nice cozy, cozy robe from Amazon. And uh, I'm not actually going to wear this in the hospital. I decided that um, I'm actually going home with this. Um, it has a hood on here and it's so so nice and cozy it's very warm and i don't want to go home in the coat this time with the c-section everything was just still so tight so i just wanted to be comfortable so i'm actually going home in this nice cozy rope and then i'll be showing you what i'll be going home um with um underneath this but um i'll be showing that to you guys in a second i'll go back to that in a minute uh, I ordered this hospital gown from Amazon as well, and this was thirty dollars. Um, I hate their gowns there; like, I hate them so, so, so much. They are like very irritating. So I ordered my own maternity gown, and it's a labor delivery gown. It snaps um, the arms up here can unsnap. All of this unsnaps, and. Like it has buttons throughout this whole entire gown. So it's very easy access. The doctors can get to whatever part and area they want to get to, even better than the hospital gowns they have. They can get to everything. I decided I'll be wearing this after labor and delivery because I don't want to get it all bloody. So after my C session, it's over. Um, when I'm able to walk, when they make me to walk like 12 hours later, I'll be switching to this. So I'm going to be wearing their hospital gown the first day, you know, um, and then the second and third day and stuff, I'll be wearing that, that gown. And I'll show you my going home uh, outfit, which is not an outfit. Uh, I made a mistake last time by bringing leggings, but like I said, I didn't know I was going to have a C-section. And I was in a lot of pain. This time, I plan to not be in pain. These are cozy pajamas. They do actually go up high, so it actually can cover uh, my incision. Like, it goes over my incision. And they just have, like, little breast cancer, um, little, uh, little breast cancer uh, things over them. And that robe that I showed you right here, I will be wearing this as well. So it's going to be a very cozy, cozy day for me when I leave. It's not going to be horrible like it was before. Um, so I got that. I'm bringing that. And then this is just a nice big old t-shirt. And it also has like the little breast cancer awareness um, symbols and words and stuff on there. This is a huge shirt. Not going to be too tight to my stomach. Like I said, I learned my lesson before. I want everything to be loose and I don't want to be irritated. So it's going to be this right here along with um, the robe I showed you and those uh, pajama pants. I'll be going home with that. And like I said, my robe has a hat. So that's, you know, I will just put that hat on and be comfortable. And um, here go my slides. Um, and just like some little sliding slide shoes I can put on with my socks that I can walk around the hospital with. And I just wearing these. Um, I'm not for sure if I'm going to be wearing these in the shower as well. Um, I really don't know yet. I'm actually thinking about adding some uh, sandals to it. Some flip flop sandals to the hospital bag. But I don't have that right now. Um, but I might be adding that. But these are what I will be wearing while I'm in the hospital along with my socks 
and uh, here is the, my bag this bag is so nice look what it says my um, mother-in-law actually got this bag for me for Christmas and it's perfect so <laughs> you know it says um, a wise woman once said fuck this shit <laughs> I really like this and it says and she will live happily ever after it's a very nice bag and I basically have like all of my uh, like personal things in here personal care items in here so uh, I have some body spray I have some lipstick I have like a little lady oops, lady speed stick deodorant. Uh, here's a little travel toothpaste. Uh, and then I have this little travel um, thing, a little travel pouch that I bought from Walmart. And I put some Dove plain uh, Dove body wash in here. So when I want to take my shower. And here's some eyeliner. As I told you, my eyeshadow I have to get because my son lost it. Some lip gloss. And some perfume. Even though I have body spray, but I got perfume as well. Um, and some hand sanitizer. Some earrings, some little hoops, some body lotion, a e pen, yep, and, uh, and then like I have a bunch of rubber bands in here for my hair because I'm gonna have some braids and then just to like paint it up in the ponytail and some more like little ponytail holders to like paint my hair up um, and my toothbrush so the only thing I didn't add to here uh, is the eyeshadow that I mentioned I had to add that because my son lost it and I want I want to look nice on some of the days at least not you know too bad and I want to take pictures with my son so I'll be adding my eyeshadow to the back so sorry that's not the video and last but not least just this um, jam I'm not going to take it with the back but uh, you know just a hair jam so you know because I'm going to have braids and I just want to like slick my edges and baby hairs all nice so and then this is just one of those little scrubbers that you scrub your body with from the shower while you're in the shower. So this. So that's all I brought. And like I said, um, I'll be bringing other things as well. Um, the things that I mentioned to you was the socks that's not in there. And possibly um, some flip-flops that I'll be bringing and adding to the bag. It's up for debate if I'm bringing my computer. I don't really know yet i might bring my laptop but i don't know i really kind of don't know yet so so yep so just my socks and i didn't bring underwear or pads because i actually love the mesh underwear that they give you so i'm not going to bring that and then the pads are big enough i'm not going to bring any pads or underwear this time so yeah so that's all i am bringing and then i am going to be bringing some snacks which i didn't of course put in there yet but just like beef jerky uh, small things like that like rice krispie treats and stuff that i can eat uh after my surgery um you know because sometimes you get back hungry and i just want to make sure i'm not starving like i was last time so i'm going to be bringing some snacks as well but like i said it's just not in there i will put that in there on the day of my scheduled c-section well um that is it um that's all I will be having in my bag and uh, I want you guys to know I will be doing a nursery tour 
very soon. I don't have everything together. Everything's almost together. But I will be doing a nursery tour. So please do not forget to check out that video. Um, I should have that video up in about two weeks. Um, so around when I'm 37 weeks, that's when you guys should be able to see uh, the nursery tour video. I am just waiting for uh, to order one more thing to add to it. So yeah, so stay tuned for that video. And I'm also gonna do a labor and delivery video as well. Um, so you know, we have to wait on that too. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. And please like and don't forget to subscribe.